Back in 1975, John Paul Stevens was confirmed by the Senate just 19 days after he was nominated by a John vote of Stevens, 98 to nothing. His successor won't have as easy a time. The reason? Politics has made all recent Supreme Court nominations a battle in the Senate confirmation process. President Obama says he wants the same qualities in the next justice that President Ford wanted when he nominated Stevens. An independent mind, a record of excellence and integrity, a fierce dedication to the rule of law, and a keen understanding of how the law affects the daily lives of the American people. Candidates at the top of the White House shortlist include two women already interviewed for the job before the president chose Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Elena Kagan, now Solicitor General, is 49, likely to be around a long time if chosen. As dean of Harvard Law School, she brought conservatives onto the traditionally liberal faculty, but opposed military recruiting on campus. Diane Wood sits on the Court of Appeals in Chicago. She was a law professor and an antitrust expert at the Justice Department. She is a strong abortion rights advocate, which is almost certain to bring conservative opposition. Another name near the top of the White House list, Merrick Garland, an appellate judge in Washington, D.C. Garland is regarded as moderate and intellectually brilliant and is said to have little in his writings which could stir controversy. No matter who's chosen, history gives no absolute ideological guarantees. Justice Stevens, who was viewed as a moderate Republican when nominated, came to be seen as the leader of the court's liberal bloc, though Stevens maintains that it was the court which moved to the right. This time, the battle is less about who is nominated and more about scoring political points. I think the Republicans are less concerned about stopping Obama's nominee than driving up the negative ratings of the nominee. The president's nominee is likely to be confirmed, but not without a fight. After all, there's an election in November. So what does he do? Does he play it safe at a time when he had planned and hoped to be talking about the economy and jobs? Or does he nominate someone with a liberal record and hope that the battle fires up his Democratic base? Seth? Bill, what makes you so certain that confirmation is a sure thing? Well, back in 2005, when Justices Roberts and Alito were confirmed, Republicans demanded an up or down vote, no filibuster. So they can't very well back off that this time. And most people feel that any nominee is a sure thing, but not without a fight. All right, Bill Plant at the White House. Thank you very much, Bill.